Welcome back to Switzer. It's time for the Switzer regular Rudy Philippic Van Dyke from FN Arena to shine the spotlight on a couple of companies he's closely watching. Welcome, Rudy. How are you? Peter, I'm always, it's always a pleasure to be here. Yeah, same here, same here. Uh, I was teasing him before. He's got a, an e-book coming, coming out. It's not on his <laughs> website, so there's no point in us talking about it. You're so, you're so you, good you told, on... You told me you read it. I did read it when, when I was in there Vietnam. Go. I, go. I got... I got, got tired. I got the lure of going for a surf. <laughs> uh, last five pages. Now, but I thought it was worthwhile. But when it's ready, we'll tell people and they can download You want to download it or you want them to read it on your website? Uh, I want them to subscribe to FN Arena and then okay. they can get it. Uh, okay, that's right. <laughs> okay. When, it, when that's ready, you tell me. All right. Well, anyway, the message, the message still remains the same. I mean, they don't necessarily have to um, read my ebook or, or buy it or whatever. Mm. But I mean, I, I do believe that my research has some important conclusions for long-term investors. Yeah, that's right. And when, when you're ready, we'll talk about it. In fact, we'll do, one night we'll do, we'll do the book. But tonight, a couple of companies. What company What company first do you want to talk about? Well, a company I want to talk about. Uh, I think there's three types of companies I would like to talk about. Okay. Categories. Yeah. One of them are uh, solid, sustainable dividend payers. Yeah. Second category are the ones I, I've mentioned a couple of times when I was in your show, which mm. are the all-weather performers. All-weather performers. And that's, and that's in the book. I read that. That's so basically the... Proving you, yes, I read your, you I read your yes, book, the all-weather. So. And the third category are what I would call in the sweet spot. The sweet spot? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's nothing, I it has nothing to do with what you're thinking about. the sweet no, spot. No, no, the sweet. Yeah. It, does, it, it means that certain companies, mostly industrials, yeah. Uh, Can be good, good for a certain point in time. Go through a period when operationally yep. everything is falling into place, yep. and that's when you want to own those stocks. Okay. Do you want to, which which what category do you want to start with? Oh, first? Just 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 pick one because let's go sweet spot. Sweet spot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Name one. Uh, M2 telecommunications. Yeah. Mcom. Yeah. Mcom. Mcom. Yeah. 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 Um, M2. See, because I I, yes. I taught um, Vaughan Barnes. Many years ago, okay. University of New South Wales. Yes. He, he was the founder. I think he's yes. chairman now. He's not CEO anymore. I think he might be just chairman. Yeah, he might have moved up. Yeah, yes. yes. He yes. promoted himself. Yes, yes. But but but, I, but why is that company so good? Why, why is it in a sweet spot? Well, why a lot of telecommunication companies uh, at in the over the past few years have 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 been in that particular position. Yes. You have Mcom. You have M2. I I in it. IINet is one yeah. of them. Uh, you also have TPG. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes Telstra. I mean, yeah. Don't forget the, the major ones. Cool, Some, yeah. Sometimes a sector falls into a, in, in a particular things fall into yeah. place, yeah. and then you want to you want to own that sector. Yeah. Well, smartphones make those businesses pretty damn good, don't they? Well, I think a lot of people shouldn't underestimate that telecommunication is turning into a commodity. Yeah. yeah. Once upon yeah. a time, I mean. I'm not that old. You're a little bit older than I am, mm -hmm. but you surely remember the days when you make a call to the to the U.S. It was really, really expensive. Yeah, you needed to get a loan from your bank. Manager. Exactly. Yeah, to, to make yeah, just yeah. one five-minute call to the U.S. Nowadays, it costs you nothing. Yeah. yeah. And that's obviously one of the problems that sector was struggling with. Yeah. But that's why I'm saying. It's not going to last forever, yeah. but sometimes they have a time. And they're making money on data as well, aren't they? And that's... But that, that also will become a yeah, commodity at some yeah, stage. I agree. Maybe. Okay. But, but sometimes... But at the moment, it's yes. sweet spot. But Absolutely. also, to mention M2, you must also think the actual management's right and all the other stuff. Is the share price right? Because, you know, I've been talking M2 for a couple of years yes. on this program. Is the share price still right on your reckoning? Well, here's... here's the Rudy here, reckoning? Well, here's the thing, and that's uh, one of the things... I mentioned this one. Cut it out. We had now a few years, let's call them post-2008. Yeah? Yeah. The share market hasn't done really much. Yeah? Mm. But that's the share market. Yeah? If you had any of those three categories of stocks, you would have done really, really well. Mm. Yeah? Is the price wide? Well, the problem now is that those stocks continue to perform really, really well yeah. in 2013. Yeah. I would have personally thought that if we generally had a reversal from, let's call it bear market or bananas into yeah. bull market, mm. that we now would have the other stocks, yeah, the, the, rubbish, ones that, the, the ones weaker ones, the vulnerable ones, yeah. uh, the less solid ones, they would now outperform. We haven't seen that whatsoever. Yeah. The same stocks that have done really, really well since the bottom in 2009 yeah. are still outperforming this market. M2's dividend okay? Uh, well, it's becomes less because the PE is rising every day. That's right. And that's the, the inverse relationship okay. we have. Move to the Let's go yes. all weather now. All weather performance. There's still, I have identified 11 of them. Mm -hmm. 
nine of them are still killing it. Yeah. Still, you can jump on these all weather at the stocks, even now. Some of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. I would well, give us a couple of those then. The well, ones that were worth jumping on, rather than ones not jumping. On. Okay. Well, the ones the ones I wouldn't jump on. Let's let's take those first. That's easier. Huh. The ones I would be more, more careful now would be Monadelphus. Yeah. And would be uh, you... and, and would be Blackmores. Okay. Yeah. And the two companies that you've been talking up over the last year or so. I have Mont spoken Dolphins about yeah. both of them definitely. Okay. And Monadelphus, right. to be honest, Monadelphus until can't this me, but year they've, they've been bid up. Okay. Fair enough. No, not only that. I mean, one of the one of the particular characteristics of an all-weather perform, in my view is the type of company, but also the, the industry dynamics. Yeah. Yeah? Well, for Monadelphus, unfortunately, the industry dynamics have turned negative. Yeah. Not yet. Because the mine is going off the boil, you, th you think. Over the next Combank actually 14, think it, yeah. 15. No, yeah. I once upon a time made the same mistake as Combank. Yeah. While from an economic point of view, the sector still looks OK, yeah. from a business perspective, the dynamics have changed dramatically and will change dramatically. Okay, so it's Rudy versus the CBA economics team. We'll note yes. that one. Okay? Yes, and right. mark my words. I will be correct in well, this I one. won't mark any words <laughs> at all, but I'll remember them. All right, anyway, now. now we go to all weather performance. Yes. Yeah? And, um, and there are a lot of stocks in there which I have talked about a lot while in this mm. program. Yeah. Ramsey Healthcare, Coca-Cola, uh, Amatol. I want to do Ramsey. We've got the chart here, guys. Whack up the chart. Well, there you go. I mean, that's the. Oh, no, it's not coming. Gee, it's a bit slow on the old chart there delivery. You oh, here there you go. Okay. See, this is what the all weather performer looks like. Mm. And imagine this China slowed down. We had the GFC. We had uh, whatever you call over the past few years. There's nothing in there in that chart. Yeah. And that's an all weather performer. Yeah, that's right. But uh, the question is. Is it still an all-weather performer? It's still an all-weather performer. The only thing that is going against it right now, it's, it's really, really, really expensive. Yeah. But it was really, really expensive when all it was $16. Way. Exactly. And when it was $20. Exactly. And exactly. Uh, Stuart Roberts here from uh, exactly. Bell Potter last night, he, he, he still thinks it's a good company. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And, that's, uh, and that so is... So if you've got 20 stocks and you yes. haven't got Ramsey... You're doing it's, something it's, wrong. It's not a bad idea to put it in no, there. No, you're you, doing something you wrong. You should have one healthcare stock anyway, shouldn't you? Oh, well, yeah. You, yeah, okay, If you yes. have a balanced portfolio, yes. primary yes. Okay. or Ramsey. Yes, okay. Think, well, no, I'm not going for primary. No, I'd I prefer Ramsey yeah. over yes. primary. But the, another stock, for instance, and, and that's good that you mentioned that, mm -hmm. another stock which I think a lot of people would have disregarded at their own peril is Invocare. Invocare. And, yep. and Invocare, that's the prime example. Yeah. It's always it's expensive. A funeral, it's a funeral business. It's always it? expensive. Yeah. 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 But you know what? If you look at the Invocare, I could drop a similar chart, and that's Invocare. Yeah? Yeah. So the message there is not, is it expensive? No, the message is, what's the, what are the chances that it actually might disappoint at some point? Yeah. Yeah? And there's obviously two strategies of playing that because sometimes an all-weather performer runs into a rough year. Gets a, gets a bad storm that it, they can't cope it, with. It happens. So it's not temporarily. Okay. It name, name one and when. Ansel. Ansel. Okay. Yeah. It's at now, the moment. Yes, yeah. at the moment yeah. having a little bit of a rough year. Yeah. And that's amongst Why? other amongst other things. I'm about to mention amongst other things because they had a fantastic year the year before. Yeah. And for an industrial company, that's really difficult. To have a fantastic year and then con reproduce it. Continue another one. Okay. Yeah? So I would, if you take that knowledge, hmm. I would use weakness in Enso hmm. to put in your portfolio. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you think management wise, industry wise, it's got a, a, a good outlook. But big year, yes. comes off the boil. Go in again. Yes. All right, you could dollar cost average if you if you bought it. Well, you high. can do different sizes, yeah. exactly. But, uh, now, we, now, but, but my producer said you've got a, a chart here for BHP. I do. Okay, put it on and tell us why. <laughs> I want to I want to I want to I want to show people the difference in what another stock looked like. Mm. Yeah. In this stock, you, you always like to pick on BHP. And Rio, no, the reason you? why I pick BHP yeah. is for me it's symbolic. Yeah. To the resources, I know. I want to. I want to make one statement. BHP is the best one around. Yeah. Yeah? There's no. But if the best one can only achieve this, yeah. beware of the rest. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah? So tell and us what they're achieving. That is so. Uh, um, yes. Terrible. Nothing. Nothing wrong for management. But yeah. when I give presentations to investors, and it's also in an e-booklet, yeah. the main question I have with the previous question was very easy. Yeah. Has this investment been to your satisfaction? Mm. The previous chart, you would go like, well, there's no way it won't, it won't, yeah? In this chart, has this investment been to your satisfaction? Yeah. You would have to answer, well, yes, if you bought at the bottom. Okay. Otherwise, 
and you'll that's lose the, it. And that's the advice. Buy, if you look at those charts, you buy at the bottom yes. and you do get a nice period. Yes. All right, buddy boy, we are out of time. I only had 10 minutes tonight, but we'll give you more next time. Okay. All right, great to see you. Yeah. That was really Philip Heck van Dyke from FN Arena, and he'd love you to get involved in his website. He's like that. If you want to read my thoughts each morning at the close of Wall Street, check out my website, switzer.com.au. And if you have a self-managed super fund, have a look at the switzersuperreport.com.au website. If you've got any questions for me or ones you'd like me to put to an expert, email me switzer at skynews.com.au. And I'm Peter Switzer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.